Hello everyone, it's Erica here again. Today I'm making a card for Whiff of Joy using some of my favorite products. And I'm starting out with a paper from this gorgeous 6x6 paper pad. I really like the patterns and colors of the papers and I've been using it a lot lately. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of it. And I'm using a small strip that I had left over from another card. And I'm cutting the edge with this fancy hard border die. And here you can see the die cut piece. And I'm distressing the edges a bit with this tool from Prima. And I'm also going to color the piece with walnut stain distressing. And here I'm using a piece of white cardstock and I'm cutting out these small banners. I made sure not to cut them the whole way through though since I want to make them longer than they are. I will then cut them out using my paper trimmer. And of course I added some distressing to these strips as well. I really do like to add distressing to my cards. And this piece I'm coloring completely and for the two other pieces I'm going to do some stamping. And I'm using this Spots and Dots background stamp set. This is a great stamp set that I tend to reach for a lot. I am not being too careful when I'm stamping the banner pieces and I don't mind if it looks a bit messy in the end. I do want them to look old and distressed and I can cover up any mistakes with more distressing. And I'm also adding some distressing to the edges of the banners. And here I finished stamping the pieces and I am just trying to figure out my placement. I realized that the pattern paper piece was a bit too wide for my taste and I ended up trimming it quite a bit. When I finally decided on where I wanted to place all of the banners, I adhered them with my tape runner. And then I just cut off the excess with my scissors. And I thought that the card was a bit too white and empty in the lower right corner, so I ended up using the small pieces that I cut off to add some interest there. And here you can see the finished result. I just skipped past all that. And now for the sentiment, I am using these alphabet dies to cut out the word thanks. And I use the same white cardstock that I've been using for the rest of the card. And I wanted the letters to have the same color as the banners and I ended up coloring them with my distress ink. To make the coloring process easier, so I left the alphabet on the negative piece and colored them there. This way I didn't have the problem with the letters flying around everywhere while trying to color them. I also adhered the negative piece to my work surface with some masking tape just to keep it from moving around. And here I'm just adhering the letters with some glue and I'm trying to be careful so I don't get glue everywhere. And to add a bit more interest to the card, I decided to add some enamel dots from my mind's eye. And I did move them around quite a bit before I decided on a final placement that I was happy with. And the last thing I did was to add some glossy accents to the letters, just to give them some dimension and shine. I didn't have the patience to wait for the glossy accents to dry when filming, so you can still see the letters are a bit white in color. But they will dry completely clear, as you can see in the photos later. 
And that was my card for today. I hope you liked it and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.